What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day and if you're not, I'm about to give you an offer that you will not be able to refuse that'll make your day so much better. So if you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel in the next 6.9 seconds, you guys will be blessed with a year of good luck. That goes towards catching fish, hunting, or even asking out your crush. Everything's gonna go well. So leave a like and subscribe, and if you don't, well, just say goodbye to your crush. Anyways, guys, I am at my favorite little fishing spot, my little content creating lake area, or fishing hole, whatever you wanna call it. Truman Dam, as you can see behind me here. It's not running right now, so it's actually perfect time to go out and film this video but I'm pretty sure this may be the first ever mystery tackle box unboxing video below Truman Dam so if it is sweet first ever little backstory on Truman Dam not really a lot of facts about it but I used to come down here a lot catch the crap out of crappie white bass gar spoonbill catfish you name it so in a couple months here, we're going to be fishing down here so much because there are so many fish to be caught, like giant hybrids and hooking into spoon cats, which is what we called the spoonbill because we thought they were catfish, but we were just snagged in the spoonbill. Interesting story. I know. But yeah, this is going to be the spot where we're going to spend a lot of our spring at because I'm looking to break a Missouri state record hybrid bass. Wait, wait a minute. I'm looking to break the Missouri state record for hybrid bass and I know for a fact it's gonna come from down here because last year I caught an 11 pounder and I'm not sure what the record is but that's probably not very close but they're huge I've seen some 14 15 pound hybrid pull out of here so yeah so there's gonna be a lot of fishing out or over here um, expect that if you subscribe now you'll get to see all those awesome videos are gonna be bangers we're gonna be catching all sorts of fish doing lots of catching cooks and it's gonna be a great spring and summer. All right, so, like I said, today's video is sponsored by Mr. Tackle Box. I don't think I actually said that, but we're gonna act like I did. Mr. Tackle Box, a good sponsor of ours. Well, they just like sponsored me not too long ago, or partially sponsored me. So, here I am doing unboxings and using their lures, so shout out to them. If you guys would like to cop yourself one of these beautiful Mystery Tackle Boxes, use the link in the description, top of the description, right below the video here, and get yourself one. It'll support me, support Mr. Tackle Box, and help me towards my YouTube dreams, I guess. Let's get into, get into today's box. It is the January box. I know this is a pretty late uh, video. I'm going to try to up, um, edit today, get it uploaded by tomorrow, so at least I get it for, or get it in for January, because today is like the 28th or 29th, so wish me luck. To start off, we got ourselves a what's inside the box, which is what tells you what baits are coming in your box, how much they are. Um, really good to have. Teach, or shows you how much like you actually get out of these um, boxes and lures. And it's so worth it because the boxes are like 26 bucks and you get like a thousand dollars worth of lures. Next, we got ourselves Devil's Digest, or I guess that's what it's called. Something like that. But it tells you tips and tricks on how to use baits and how to fish during the time of the year. Mystery Tackle Box is um, a subscription box and it gives you lures for your location and type of, or time of year, so that's pretty neat. Our first lure here is an amazing bait shiver crank. It's a little, looks like a little dive, six to 10 feet, so it's a little deep diving crank bait. So that's our first lure. Our second lure is a boot tail I don't even know how to say that, but it's a little swim bait. A little like shad imitation swim bait. That's gonna be real saucy. Sure. Surely gonna catch some big fish. Next we got ourselves a football bass sticker. One of my favorite things in the world are stickers, and I love getting them out of mystery tackle boxes. Next thing we got. This is gonna kill the fish. We're gonna murder some fish at this time of the year. Jerk bait. Jerk baits are so good all year round, mainly when the fish are lethargic. Super good for getting uh, reaction strikes, and this one's called the Reaction Strike XRM80. So, pretty neat. Let's see, 3.2 inches dives two to four feet. Not shabby. Next thing on our list here, we got ourselves some TRD or turd hogs. Little Ned Rig baits here. 
little like I guess little I guess they're little crawdads. I don't know. Looks pretty neat. Called Canada Crawl, so I'm gonna guess they're crawdads. So pretty good. Look at there by Z-Man. Real nice looking. It is also extremely cold out here. I can almost not feel my hands. Next in the box, we got ourselves a nano jig. Little itty bitty finesse jig for catching those real, you know, finicky bass that you know don't want a really big presentation. And when you throw something little like that with maybe the little turd hog, is that what this thing is? Yeah, turd hog. Throw it on the back of there. Maybe you can catch yourselves a nice little fish. Next, we got ourselves some five inch stick bait hooks by five bites to go. Sounds pretty cool. But oh wait, nope, penetration hooks. I don't know. It says pen hooks, so I'm guessing it's by penetration hooks, but they're called five inch stick bait hooks, I assume. Last thing in our box here, as these people are watching me film this video, pretty neat. I love when people are sitting here staring at me, but Randy's Picks Excite Baits, little baby uber shad, smoke show colored, I guess little like flukes with little tails on them, little ribbon tail. Pretty good, because the shad, oh man, I can't tell you how many shad I've seen just go up in the pockets because the weather here in Missouri has been crazy so it's been like 10 degrees and 45 degrees and 10 degrees and 65 degrees so they have no idea what's going on it's January and I still see the shad everywhere that's gonna do it for our, our little mystery tackle box unboxing here mystery tackle box is literally the number one subscription fishing box in the world I will never use another subscription box other than Mystery Tackle Box. So make sure you guys pick yourselves up a Mystery Tackle Box using the link below in the description. It would support me a ton, support them, and I would appreciate it a lot. So that being said, folks, it is really cold. I would like to keep blabbering out here in front of the dam with all these little seagulls. Like, hold on, let me show you this. Gonna attempt to not drop my camera here, but there are a ton of seagulls. I'm guessing that's what they are. They're literally everywhere. I guess they're picking off shad. Oh my god, what was that? They're, I guess, eating the shad off the top of the water because like I said, these shad are everywhere. And those baits, you got some shad imitators and the jerk bait, even, even the jerk bait was like a whitish color for like shad and it's gonna be killer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of mine. I would like to be fishing right now, but like I said, mostly all the ponds and little lakes around me are frozen. Um, the creeks, there's, I really don't have any good creeks around me that's good to fish. Um, Truman Dam's about the only thing and I've fished it a few times and it's pretty trash. So, fishing will hopefully get good pretty soon in the next couple weeks maybe. Um, I would like to be out catching fish, trust me, and I would like to be using the Mystery Tackle Box lures and I'm gonna be basically only using Mystery Tackle Box lures. So, shout out to them for sending me bomb lures. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure, like I said, you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're at like 1,017, 1,018 subscribers. My goal for the end of the year is 10,000 subscribers and I won't be able to do it without you guys. My dream and my passion goes towards fishing and filming and I appreciate you guys a ton. God, I can't talk them dying but i appreciate you guys a ton for supporting me and helping me at least think i can pursue this dream of mine so i appreciate you guys a ton so i'll catch you guys on the next episode of bad bass fishing i hope you all have an amazing day and folks like always stay hooked.